hello guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time hearing my voice please you're welcome please don't forget to subscribe down below for more z word update thank you so much so yesterday update about joda and akbar stopped where everyone begged jalal to release bakshi and forgive her but jalal refused and joda said that she would go and convince jalal so let's continue from there outside Rukaya says to the women that Jalal has decided and he doesn't change his decisions. And Salima says that but the brother that is inside Jalal is worried for Bakshi. Ma'am Anga says that but Jalal doesn't have a heart, so he would not change his decision. And Joda says that she wants to try once more to convince Jalal. Ma'am Anga says that Jalal rejected Amida's request, who is even his mother. Then how would Jalal accept Joda's request? Rukaya said that the Joda think that Jala will listen to her after he refused to listen to everyone else. And Joda says that till now, they were talking to a king, but she wants to talk to a brother. And Bakshi is also a family member and she cannot see her like this. Amida says that if Joda wants to try, then she will not stop her and Joda leaves. Rukaya says that nothing would happen and Joda would come back after getting nothing from Jalao. And she have the fear that Jalao might even punish Joda for taking the side of a culprit. Jala was in thought and he remembered Joda telling him that Bakshi is pregnant and Jala comes to the weight balance. Joda comes there and says that she knows that Jala only comes to the weight balance whenever he is worried for something and Bakshi is his sister. Jalal says that but justice doesn't know relationship and Joda says that Jala can give justice to anyone whether it is Sharaf Fordin or Adam or Abumali or even Bakshi. But what about that unborn child that is not at fault? Joda says that when the child grows up, then it would be separated from his parent, and the child would question Jalal's rules, and it would hate the Mughal rules, so Jalal should think about that innocent child. Joda says that when Shivani ran away, Jalal did not punish her because Jalal knew that she was not wrong. Joda again says that the rule is that if the person that someone did wrong against forgives the culprit, then the offender's punishment would be over. And when Rukaya forgave Adam, Adam was freed and the same thing happened when Akim asked Jalal to forgive Barma. Then now, she is also saying that she is forgiven Bakshi. Then why is Jalal not forgiving her? Joda says that she cannot see Bakshi in pain and Bakshi is Jalal's sister so she is pleading to Jalal to forgive her and Jalal should think about Bakshi's child even if it is once and Joda leaves. Jalal was thoughtful and he put his ring in the weight balance. In the room, Bakshi was about to fall but Jalal holds her in time and Jalal asks her if she is alright and Jalal also scolds the servant that Bakshi is pregnant and why are they not taking care of her. Jalal says to Bakshi that she always do mistake, but she is pregnant and she would make him an uncle, so she should take care of her health. Bakshi was overwhelmed and she hugged Jalal, and she asked that why did Jalal not come before, and she used to curse herself for what she did. Jalal says that he had to come because since Joda forgave her, then why should he be angry with her? And Jalal tells Bakshi that they should go back home, and as Jalal was taking Bakshi to the palace, Joda comes there and Jalal looks at Joda and he leaves. Bakshi says thank you to Joda because Jalal blessed and talked to her because of Joda. And Joda says that sister don't say thanks. And Bakshi asks Joda and says that she is a great sister-in-law. Adam says to his men that Jalal has put responsibility of catching thieves and making peace on him. So he asks all his men not to loot or steal anymore. Because if Jalal gets to know about it, then he would be in trouble. And his men says that what about the smuggling of the people who are in jails? And Adam asks them to continue that business. Javira comes there and says that Adam is doing a very good work and if she was in Adam's place, then she would have beaten the bad people and Adam fumes in anger and shows Javira a knife but Javira says that why is Adam showing her this knife and Adam should show the knife to bad people instead and Adam asks Javira to go and make something for him to eat and Javira leaves. Maham Anga and Rukaya were playing chess and Maham Anga says that Rukaya is not seeing what Joda is doing. Rukaya says that she has made space between Jalal and Joda, and Ma'am Anga says that but Jalal did what Joda said in the case of Bakshi. Rukaya says that what Jalal did was right in case of Bakshi, and Jalal did not do it because of Joda, and there is only one queen in the chairs, and in Jalal's life, she is the only queen. Ma'am Anga showed Rukaya and says that her king is being surrounded by her own pawns, so Rukaya lost. 
Rukaya says that how can this happen? And Mam Anga says that Rukaya's queen in the chess game was overconfident about her position and she left the king behind and she was later surrounded by pawns. Rukaya says that she is going to sleep and she leaves. And Mam Anga thinks that why does she get the feeling that Jalau is going to be snatched away from Rukaya? Amida and the ladies comes to meet Bakshi and all the royal ladies were having an emotional reunion with Bakshi. Amida says that she could not come to meet Bakshi in the prison because being the king's mother, she was bound by law to come and see Bakshi. Rukaya and Mam Anga congratulate Bakshi and Joda also congratulate Bakshi and everyone were happy. Joda was sitting near the bathtub and Moti was combing Joda's hairs and giving steam to her hairs. Moti asks Joda that what is she thinking? Joda says that it is about Jalau because Jalau is very difficult to understand because Moti should see the case of Bakshi. Jalau loves Bakshi a lot but because of one mistake, Jalau gave Bakshi a punishment. Joda says that Jalau has great control on his heart but when justice is concerned, Jalau doesn't see anyone. Jalau comes in and listens to Joda's talk and Jalau signals to Moti not to let Joda know that he is here. Joda says that she is happy that Jalau listened to her because Bakshi needs her family at this point and this shows that Jalau has softness in his heart and Jalau is different that nobody can understand him because sometimes he is very sweet and sometimes he gets really angry and even disturbs her in her dreams because when she was unconscious after drinking the poison, she saw a dream like she was going to an isolated place and she was going to die but Jalau comes there and stops her by holding her hand. Jalau smiles listening to Joda and Jalau comes from behind and takes Joda's hairs from Moti and Moti leaves the room. Jalau sits beside Joda and Joda not knowing that it was Jalau that was sitting behind her blabbers about how someone can be so stubborn even in dream because Jalau ordered her even in her dream that she cannot go and Jalau held her hand in the dream and when she opened her eyes Jalau was there beside her holding her hand and Joda turns to see Moti and she was surprised to see Jalau there instead. Jalau looks here and there and Joda said that so Jalau is here but Moti did not tell her that Jalau was there and Jalau says that he was the one that told Moti not to tell Joda that he was here and Joda said so Jalau has been listening to her talks. Jalau says that he was holding Joda's hand in dream and Joda says that it is a bad manner to listen to another people's talk because it is stealing. Jalau says that he did not steal anything because this is his room which he has given to his wife and the talk was related to him so he decided to listen to it. Joda says that the talk was a personal talk and Jalau says that it is strange that Joda can tell her personal things to her friend but not to her husband. Joda says yes because she is not still free with Jalau so she cannot tell Jalau her personal things and Jalau says that he will wait for that day that Joda will be free with him and Jalau was about to leave but he burnt his hand with his team and Joda holds Jalau's hand in concern and Joda says that why is Jalau always in a hurry and Joda put water on Jalau's hand and Jalau smiles looking at Joda. Jalau says that Joda should remember the dream that she is going to see tonight and maybe Joda might decide to tell him and he leaves from there. Plans are being made by So Jamal along with his trusted generals and soldiers for attacking Agra. So Jamal wants to take his revenge from Jalau and suddenly So Jamal received the news of Joda's poisoning by snake and So Jamal says that he have to go to Agra to meet Joda but his men says that Joda is married to the Mughals and the Mughals are their enemies but So Jamal says that he doesn't care because he would go there anyway. Bakshi asks Joda and says that she got everything but one of her wishes has not been fulfilled and she wished that her husband Sheriff Adin is here but he is a criminal. Gigi said that they will celebrate Bakshi's baby shower today and Joda says that she is leaving but Bakshi should keep smiling because it tax effect on the child and everyone is here with her so she should not worry. Gigi says that Bakshi should not cry otherwise her child will cry and the child will irritate Bakshi in the night and Amida asks Bakshi to take some rest. Joda was going and she sees a grand chess table and she thinks that what is this and she goes inside. Jalau comes there and Joda says that it seems like a chess and Jalau says that it is a chess but real people are sitting instead of blocks. Joda says that it is not right to use people for fun and Jalau says that he came to play the chess with Rukaya but Rukaya hasn't come so Joda should play with him instead. Joda says why not and how will she move them because they are real humans and not chess blocks. Rukaya shouted at Oshia that her slippers are not matching with her dress and Oshia brings another pair of slippers. 
Jalal shows Joda that she can move the chairs by calling the name of the soldier and it would move by himself. But Joda says that she doesn't like to other people. Jalal says that it is just a game and if Joda win, then it would give Joda whatever she want. And Joda says that they should play then. Outside, Rukaya was coming and she says that today she would play a lot with Jalal and nobody should disturb them. Inside, Jalal says that he usually lose to Rukaya, but Joda had made Rukaya lose to her once, so this game will be difficult for him. Joda says that winning and losing is a part of the game, but they should play with smile on their faces. Jalal says that it is true and he orders his horse to kill Joda's pawn, and Joda's smile fades away, and Jalal asks that what happened. Joda says that she is not understanding this chess, and Jalal says that Joda was the one that said that they should smile even if they are losing. Then why is Joda ranting and Joda started playing silently? Rukaya sees Jalal playing with Joda and she got angry and says that Joda is coming between she and Jalal. Jalal says that it seems that Joda is liking the game and Joda says that she has played Jalal's trick on him. Rukaya says to Oshia to remain there and when Jalal and Joda finish the game, then Oshia should ask Jalal to meet her and Rukaya leaves the place. Oshia says to herself that Rukaya has started fainting from the time Joda regained her consciousness. That's true. Inside, Jalal wins the game and says that Joda deliberately made him win. Joda says that she was just learning the game and Jalal says that according to the rule of the game, then Joda would have to give him something for winning the game. Joda says that what can she give to a king and Jalal says that Joda should think of what she can give him. Joda says that she wants to give Jalal something that would make Jalal become a very good king and the people would love Jalal and Jalal asks the soldier to leave and they all leave and Jalal asks that what do Joda wants to give him. Joda says that she is not the one giving Jalal a gift and it is Jalal that would give a gift to Bakshi on her baby shower. Jalal says that after losing the game, Joda is still ordering him, so what should he give Bakshi as a gift? Joda says that Jalal's gift to Bakshi should be something that is more special to Bakshi and Jalal asks that what? Joda says that the gift should be Bakshi's husband Sharaf Adin, and Jalal was shocked. Jalal comes outside and meets Oshia and Oshia says that Rukaya wants to meet Jalal. Jalal comes to Rukaya who was fuming in anger and Jalal says that he knows that Rukaya is angry because he played the game with Joda instead of her. But he has to tell Rukaya that the pleasure he got from playing the chess game with Joda, he has never gotten it with Rukaya before. And Rukaya got angry because Jalal has also started praising Joda in her presence. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like Rukaya is so stupid. Your husband asks you to come and play game with him, and you are there looking for a shoe that would match your clothes until another woman started playing the game with your husband. That's so foolish. But anyway, that's by the way. If you like this video, please don't forget to like it, don't forget to share it, and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.